you so much for staying with us. 1250, I'm David Rankin. Florida's fight against Zika takes a new turn. New cases of local Zika through mosquito bites in South Florida. On top of the four cases we announced on uh, Friday, we have 10 more cases. As you know, two of those cases uh, were in Broward and the others were in Miami that we announced on Friday. That's the Governor Rick Scott. CDC has issued a new travel advisory that says pregnant women shouldn't travel to the Zika transmission area in Florida, and pregnant women that live there should take steps to prevent mosquito bites and the spread of the virus. Steve Moore is a mosquito expert, joins us now live on the KRLD News line. Good afternoon, Steve. Hi, David. How are you? I appreciate you taking the time. Talk to me about this whole Zika virus mosquito. This sucker comes out in the daytime, and we're used to them coming out at night. Yes, yeah. Now, I'll tell you, this heat, the numbers will go down a little bit because of the heat. Um, So just so you know, what I've done is I stand outside, I count how many mosquitoes land on me, and I've done this for hours and hours, and I've done it all parts of the day. So what I've observed is that the mosquitoes generally, when the temperature gets to be about 100, you're going to have a lot less of them flying around. But the 80s species mosquito that carries Zika, it does fly around in the afternoon instead of just at dusk and dawn like Culex. Now, we have, we have not seen any of these mosquitoes anywhere in the Texas area. This is confined to one local area in Florida. And they're saying that it's not because the mosquitoes are traveling here from Central and South America. No, no, no. What's happened is is somebody that that, uh, lives in that one square mile area in Florida had the Zika virus and the mosquito bit them and then it carried the virus to somebody else. And it's important to remember that once it bit the person with the Zika, it actually went and rested and it took a few days before it went and bit somebody else and passed the Zika virus on. So what do we need to be watching out for? It's not going to be a, a, a local mosquito here that has flown up from South America. Again, it's just got a, a, a case of being careful. Yeah, you really do need to be careful. I would be more concerned about West Nile virus here. We've got a, a bigger history of that. And so, um, and it's also, it can be much more deadly. In fact, we've had three neuroinvasive cases, which is really serious, uh, here in North Texas. So it's important to remember to protect yourself anytime. You know, I think that now that once we get past Zika, it's going to be chikungunya. It's going to be, you know, probably dengue fever and God knows what else is going to end up here. I know a lot of the press gets uh, put on Zika because it's, you know, it's case of the year, and we tend to forget the other things. But you're right, West Nile has been around here for decades now. Yes. Well, since 1999. And, uh, and yeah, it's uh, I got it in uh, 2008. Um, fortunately, I was sick for a couple of months, and I recovered. But you never get rid of it. That's the thing about West Nile virus. But uh, but the difference is, is West Nile is transmitted by the Culex mosquito, and so it's mostly at dusk and dawn, and it has to bite either a bird or a horse or something along that line to get the virus and then pass it on. It can't pass it on from human to human. Well, now, what's the st- uh, story I'm hearing about you thought you had malaria? Uh, <laughs> How did you hear about that? Oh We're good God. that way. You done your research. Yeah, I've had, so I had this huge rash. This has happened three times this year. Huge rash going all the way around my body. It was generating all this heat, and I was I was sick like the flu. I wanted to throw up all the time. I had this, I'm sorry, I probably should say that on the radio, but I was sick at my stomach. I was. Uh, I had fever and chills. Uh, it, it was tough. And so that's come back three times this year, and I'm hoping it's not a, it might be, it might be the kissing bug or some other kind of disease. I get bit a lot. Steve, thank you so much. That's Steve Moore. He's a mosquito expert.